I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why being friends first will never work with a woman. It's the kind of shit that I used to do when I was in my early 20s because I was insecure. I was afraid of being rejected. And so I figure, hey, I'll be her friend for a while and we'll hang out and we'll, I'll be her male girlfriend. In essence, I didn't know what a male girlfriend was back then, but I was doing it all the time thinking that, hey, eventually when she gets to know me, she's really going to say, you know, this Corey guy, he really is awesome, and I just need to make him my boyfriend. It never it never worked. It worked zero times out of the dozens of times I tried it in my early 20s. It's just a bad, bad, bad way to go. And did I say it was a bad way to go? It's a bad fucking way to go. Don't do it. I've got an email here from a viewer, and so he says, hey, coach, he says, first off, let me thank you for all that you do. And I recently just discovered your YouTube channel. I must say that I am now hooked. Awesome. He says, I had previously messaged you via YouTube in regards to this particular girl. And now I would like to say, glossing over and cutting all the bullshit out and getting straight to the question because I know your time is limited. Thank you. If you want to send me a question, it's got to be two paragraphs max. If you send me this long dissertation, I'm just going to send you an email back telling you to shorten it to two paragraphs because I get so many emails. There's just no way I have time to read a really long email. you got to be brief and you got to get to the point within two paragraphs if you want me to respond to your questions. He says, I'm 21 and this girl is 18. She approached me in our water treatment class in college after exchanging a few glances in the previous other days of class. She strategically came up to the chair right next to me and sat down. It's nice when those things happen. But the other thing you got to keep in mind is sometimes these things happen and the girl is taken or maybe she's still got her bo a boyfriend but she's kind of thinking about doing him in. And the thing you got to be careful about those situations is that a guy who is successful with women, a guy who is a high value male, in other words a dude that has success with other women, a guy who has choices, is going to be grateful and appreciative if he likes the girl that she came over and she's interested, but it's like once he finds out she's got a boyfriend, he's in a relationship, he's just going to say, hey, you know, I'd love, love to hang out and have a drink with you sometime. Give me a call if it doesn't work out. And if she likes you, she's going to pull out her phone and go, what's your number? And if she doesn't, she'll go, yeah, okay. But don't start hanging out with her and, and fixing her clogged up toilet or her, her leaky faucet in her kitchen or changing the oil in her car or painting her house or buying her a house or buying her a car, thinking that eventually once she figures it out or gets her head together that she's going to magically get rid of the other guy or guys that she happens to be dating or that she's taking with. He says, so we became friends and hung out often after class, even ditching class a few times to smoke hookah, watch movies, go out and eat, etc., he says, I learned that she has a boyfriend the very first day I met her on account I asked her out for coffee after walking her to her car. And that's where you should have stopped it, right then and there. But here's the thing. You're young. You probably don't know any better. I think you said you're like, you're 21. And so you're just like same place, doing the same shit that I was doing because you've probably seen thousands of movies just like I had seen when I was your age that show that this shit actually works. A guy meets a girl in school. They kind of have a connection. But she's got a boyfriend that's kind of the jerk. Maybe he's like the, the captain of the football team, but he's really an asshole. And, and so the guy is like her male girlfriend. He follows her around. He does her homework for her and all this shit. And magically, by the end of the movie, she realizes, oh, I'm so in love with you. I'm going to dump my jerk boyfriend. And they live happily ever after. Well, that's great and make-believe. And you got to understand that the guys that are writing those scripts are the same fucking nerds that, were, that you knew back in high school that sat in the back of the class and they never got any pussy. And now they're writing these movies because they got a great creative mind. And, of course, women see that. Go, oh, it's so romantic. But you do that shit in real life, you never get anywhere except a really bad case of blue balls and frustration. Plus, you piss away your early 20s. Like, I definitely did that. And when those kinds of things happen over and over and over again, then somebody comes along who's single and available, but you're not really that into them, you're just glad to finally have a chick in your life. And that's what happened to me. I married my first real girlfriend because I was scared that, because after shit like this, it happened to me so many times in my early 20s that I didn't never meet anybody else. And it's just a bad way to go. So I'm trying to stop you from having a lot of pain 
and so you can enjoy your 20s and get laid a lot and have a great time and have some really awesome girlfriends and great relationships instead of just your 20s blowing by and you completely miss out on it. But I get I get guys that are 40, 50, 60, 70 years old that, that do this kind of shit. And I even have a a friend of mine that's in a similar situ situation. He was dating a girl and she cut him off from sex, gave him the let's just be friends speech. And here here it is, I don't know, eight or nine months later. He has no, he's not getting any pussy. He's bought her a condo. He's paying all of her bills. He's helping her out with her divorce. And on top of that, he's buying her all new furniture for her place. So even though he's got, he really needs to buy furniture for his own place. It's like, so he's basically pissed away almost $100,000 in the past six, eight months. And he ain't getting no pussy. And I was like, I said, she gave you the let's just, oh, she never really gave me the let's just be friends speech. I mean, this family member of mine, is just, he's the ultimate self-bullshitter. And I feel bad for him, but it's like sometimes you got to let people crash into the wall and they got to learn the hard way. It sucks, but, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So he says, which from my impression, she's looking to replace, uh, replace her boyfriend, obviously, for an upgrade from the many comments she has made about the other guys she's talking to on the side including myself she's very touchy and extremely open about sex well if she's if she's texting you she's talking about sex she's like well you know what i think you just need to come on over bring a bottle of wine and we'll see what pops up invite her i'm serious you think it's funny it's i'm serious and if she likes you and it's like you, you know i mean if she's pursuing you in that way just tell her to come on over hang out have fun and hook up I say it all the time. But you're focused on relationship energy, and that's why she knows exactly what you want. And this friend of mine that's in the same boat, she's like, you know, after he's already spent $100,000 on this chick, she says, she says to him all the time, I know exactly what you want, and I know exactly what your intentions are. And she's like, she's giving him BS excuses about her, her shitty, messy divorce, her health problems. And now the latest thing is because she's supposedly active in her church again. And, well, if we start sleeping again, together again, I'd have to leave the church. And he says, well, I don't want you to do that. And he's going along with this shit. As she's just draining his fucking bank account and his life savings because he's basically trying to bribe her into loving him with gifts and a place to live and paying her bills and probably paying for a divorce attorney and new furniture for her place and God knows what else he's fucking pissing away money on. And he's, and he's frustrated and he's unhappy, but he just keeps sucking it up and biting his tongue because he thinks several months down the road when she has her next divorce hearing, you know, it'll probably get delayed again, that it's going to get better. And it's not. And he's just, she's just sucking him like a fucking vampire. It's it's sad and pathetic, but hey, like I said, you either learn, you're going to learn the hard way. He says, she, she plain talks like a horse sometimes when I'm around her. Yeah, but it's like you're, you just, when you're around a girl and she's giving you innuendo, you just say, you know what, I think she needs to get her with, come over here and fuck my brains out. Well, what about my boyfriend? I don't care about him. He can keep you busy when you're not with me. Get your ass, get your little ass over here. I gotta go, bye, and then hang up on her. And she'll come on over and fuck your brains out. It's like, you gotta be a man, but this nice guy approach is gonna get you nowhere. Just like my friend that I'm telling you about, because he's like so afraid of offending her, upsetting her, and he's making himself miserable. And plus he's older, he's 64, 65 years old now. It's like, come on, dude, grow a set of balls, be a fucking man. So he says, I'm not sure if it's just with me or what, but that's the kind of girl she is. Probably one you wouldn't date yourself, huh, Mr. Wayne? Well, I've dated girls that will cheat on their boyfriends with me, and it's that's just someone that when they're in a committed relationship, they have no problem letting the other person think that there is a commitment there, just like this friend, friend of mine I'm telling you about. It's like the same thing. He's totally taking himself off the market, and she's... I don't know, she's just going back and forth because he's acting so fucking weak. She can't make up her mind because he's acting like a woman. Feminine women want a man to be a man. And if you act like a woman, like basically what you're doing here, you're going to get nowhere except frustrated and disappointed. He says, well, I'm still young into the dating scene, and I think I have the, the right to make a few mistakes when it comes to girls. Well, unless, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you apply the stuff that I teach, it's the only way you're going to get better. 
He says, nevertheless, I like this girl, and recently I plan to lay my cards on the table and reveal my intentions after being friends for a few months and meeting for lunch and doing all the girlfriend guy shit you explain in your videos. It will never work, dude. It never will work. So he says, because what you're doing is you're demeaning yourself. You're lowering your value in her eyes because if you really had something to offer her as a man, you would not only have something to offer her but other women. If you were successful with women, you would... You wouldn't be waiting around for her and putting up with this bullshit. You just have the attitude, hey, give me a call if it doesn't work out. And if she calls you a few days after saying that to her, you got to assume it's because she wants you to create a fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. She's giving you all this sexual innuendo, so invite her on over to your place to hang out, hook up, and have fun. Now, you're going to tell her that. Just say, hey, grab a bottle of wine. Come over to my place. We'll make dinner together. One thing can lead to another. The process of seduction is you want to get closer and closer and closer to a woman until you end up inside of her. But being Mr. Nice Guy, the, taking the friendship route, it just simply doesn't work, dude. And if you don't want to believe me, then keep doing what you're doing. He says, so after a night of hanging out with her and her friend, when we were alone parking her car, I turned, the radio, turned down the radio and said, hey, listen, I have something to say. So I proceeded to say, so listen. I know you have a boyfriend, and if you are happy with him, you should stay with him. Because I'm a nice guy. Because I want you to be happy. But if for whatever reason it doesn't work out, I want to take you out on a date. After that, she says, you're so nice. You're making this real hard on me. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> he says, I will keep that, or she says, I will keep that close. In other words, she's, you just communicated to her that, hey, I'm going to be stay in a friend zone, and you can have me whenever you want me. Well, guess what? That kind of attitude, she's never going to want you. She's going to always want to keep you in friend zone and keep giving you that BS excuse because she doesn't want to tell you no because you might go off and date another woman. But that's exactly what you need to do if you want to have any chance of attracting this girl. He says, so I smiled and said, okay, and I got out of the car and we hugged, went home, and it was 1 a.m. Since then, I'm taking your advice and not calling, letting her come to me at her own pace if she decides to do this. Before I said I wanted to see her... Before I said I wanted to see her romantically, she would call me probably twice a week and we'd meet up for lunch or go on a hike or shit like that. So I'm sure she has sexual attraction for me. Otherwise, why would she approach me in our class? Well, she liked you initially, but all this male girlfriend stuff and being Mr. Nice Guy, you know, now she knows you're pretty much like 97% of the other dudes that she meets in college that are all willing to just sit around and wait on their hands until she makes up her mind. Women don't want the power and you're giving all the power to her. That's why she's always going to stay with her boyfriend as long as you keep doing this. So anyways, if she plans to call me from, if she calls me for lunch, I plan on going out. Maybe halfway into talking, I will ask her if she thought about what I'd said. If she says, I just want to be, what do you think about me saying this? Here's the bottom line, dude. You should do nothing. Walk away. Never look back. If you hear from her. Just say, hey, why don't you grab a bottle of wine, come on over to my place. Because she already knows that you want her. You've already, you already puked up your feelings to her. And so you've got to assume that if she reaches out to you, cause it, it's because she wants to see you. So arrange a fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen. Invite her on over to your place. Don't go to lunch. Stop all this you know, crap going out and spending money on her because you're, you're getting nowhere. And she's been using sexual innuendo in the past. Like I said, hang out, have fun, and hook up. Don't talk about her boyfriend. It's none of your fucking business. And if she brings on, just say, hey, you know what? I don't care about him. He can keep you busy when you're not with me. Or you just say, hey, you know what? That's between you and him. Let's just hang out and have fun together. And, you know, your relationship with him is your relationship with him. is none of my business. You're dating him and whoever else you're dating, that's cool. Let's just get to know each other and have a good time. But I'm not interested in being friends only. I can't do that. And if you want to be friends only then give me a call when you change your mind and walk away. you got to have the balls to do it. I know it's hard because you're probably totally infatuated with her, but if you don't do it, you're, it's just this will continue to drag on for month after month after month, and then what will happen is you'll find out she's switched boyfriends, and now she's fucking the, somebody else who actually had the balls to stand up to her and be a man. Something to think about. So if you want to get my help right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, Click the products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions.